So I started a YouTube channel. What's up everybody and thanks for watching my very first video. I'm a longtime photographer, I'm new to video, so I imagine this is gonna be my absolute worst video uh, of all the ones I've got planned to come. So thanks for sticking around. Go ahead and subscribe, hit the like button, or do whatever all the YouTubers tell you to do. So when I was a kid, I found this book at my grandparents' house, and it is called The North American Wildlife Guide, and it's by Reader's Digest. It was printed in 1982. My mom told me that my grandma used to buy a lot of Reader's Digest books, and that's how we ended up with this. But I found it when I was seven years old. I took it home. This book book was my best friend and companion everywhere I went. I had it in my backpack at school. Anytime I got on my bike to go ride around my neighborhood, this book went with me. This book is full of things like birds and wildlife, animals, it has like every seashell, tree, every plant. This book is just full of everything that is in North America, including landscapes. And so whenever I was seven and eight and nine years old, when I got on my bike to ride around, I would go try to find this one particular landscape that's in this book. Where I grew up in North Carolina was just a big circle and around that circle were woods and trees and in those woods and trees were a few little ponds and places and I could have sworn to you that this one scene was right by my neighborhood. Because when you're a kid, everything in the world feels really small, like it's right outside your door. You don't realize how big the world is. I would hop on my bike and I would go everywhere I could around my neighborhood to try to find this place right here. It's called Spirit Island. It's up in Jasper, Canada. And this is my bucket list shot. So I tried to book this shoot in 2019. I was up in Banff and I was gonna go to Jasper, but it just didn't work out with the timing. So I decided I'd go in 2020, but then the pandemic hit, Canada closed their borders and I wasn't able to go. And so as we got into 2021, as fall was approaching and they were entering their last week of the boat tour to Spirit Island, I decided to go ahead and book it and go get this bucket shot. And I'm gonna take you along with me to Canada. So let's go. golden light and so it blows my mind how many photographers are like leaving right now they came out here early in the morning like I left at um, 4 a.m. to get here by 5 15 to get a parking spot be able to get up here for sunrise and sunrise is happening now but it's cloudy so many people are just bailing it just makes me think like you gotta learn to appreciate things as they are at all times and not just when it's perfect conditions I'm gonna get some great shots today. And I'm gonna have a lot more room to move around because everybody's leaving. It's crazy.
I'll be driving up to Jasper and uh, continuing my quest on to Spirit Island. It's a little boring uh, being up in Canada by myself. It's very quiet, but I'm kind of like trying to make the most of that. It's been a good drive so far and I'm looking forward to continuing on. So I'm here at the lake. I just got here and I'm only like an hour away from hopping on the boat and heading to Spirit Island. And I'm super pumped because uh, it's been a long couple of days to get here, uh, but man, I'm finally here and I'm getting ready to go see it. And so I brought my book with me um, to use on a photograph. I'm not really certain uh, on how I'm gonna use it just yet. Um, I'm gonna kind of make it up when I get there. But like here is the Spirit Island photograph right? The one I would look for as a kid. I'm going to go stand in this place, this place where this picture was taken. And I'm going to find some way to use this book and this photo in some type of photo I'm going to take. So I'm super pumped about it. Uh, I'm going to go walk around the shore and just look around for a little bit and then hop on that boat. Here we go. I made it. I'm here. So just got back and you may be wondering uh, why I didn't shoot anything of myself at Spirit Island. And there's two reasons. One is we only had uh, like 30 minutes and I didn't want to spend all that time talking to the camera or any of that time talking to the camera. But the second reason is I think that we overshare 
as a society and people. And some things should just be special for us, you know? Like right now, um, I'm still here, walking around a little bit, just like taking it all in and um, like just enjoying that. And I'm gonna keep some of what happened there to me. I can't believe I just did it. I just went to Spirit Island and crossed another thing off of my bucket list. I wonder what's next. <laughs>